All right, guys, today I wanted to talk to you about a game called Tape to Tape. Now, as you guys know, I am a huge hockey fan, and it's always disappointing that EA decides to not make, you know, the NHL series to PC. Uh, they haven't for many, many years now, and it's still something that we all hope comes one day. We're all clamoring for, but it never has. And a lot of us have obviously found other ways to get our hockey fix on PC, whether it be emulators and stuff like that, playing the old classics and stuff like that. But this game right here called Tape to Tape is an early access, but is already fantastic it is a roguelike hockey game yes you heard that correctly a roguelike hockey game where you actually take your team and level them up add new abilities to them and take them through a story where you know you're choosing options you know you're playing different things and you're sometimes you know they throw different things at you all the time through the story. Sometimes you're playing two periods, one period, three periods. Sometimes the other team may have crazy snipers on their team uh, that you have to rely on or crazy powerful slap shots and all this other stuff. And then as you progress through the story, you're upgrading your team and adding artifacts and adding you know abilities to them to make them better and progress through the ranks. It's really, really cool stuff. Uh, that they're doing on here but the gameplay is what really stands out it definitely reminds me of the old school you know nhl 94 and stuff like that uh you know with m new modern mechanics and new modern graphics and i wanted to showcase this game to you guys because as a hockey fan this is a game that a lot of people need to take note on especially it being on pc and being really really playable on the steam deck so let's go ahead and get into the video game in tech eating brekkie is the game in tech going for a brekkie is the game in tech game in tech is the game in tech all right guys so here we are with tape to tape on the steam deck here uh let's go ahead and start this game up so like i said this is a you know roguelike type hockey game and it's definitely my favorite hockey game that has released on pc i mean granted we don't get nhl or anything like that to release on pc because ea you know doesn't feel like it's worth it apparently even though so many nhl fans all over the world have been asking for it to come to pc maybe one day we'll finally get that but as of right now you know, we have games that, you know, we rely on other developers to make games, and this game is so good. They do have a full-on campaign on here where you're going through and you're upgrading your characters and stuff like that. We're going to go ahead and show you that uh, right here that I've already started. Let's go ahead and raise the volume a little bit. So you can go ahead and continue right from here. You can go ahead and go to the shop here, and you can actually buy different skills and attributes and stuff for your superstar, which you guys will see uh, what we're working with. But we're going to go ahead and continue for the time being. And there's a lot of story content in here. This is an early access, by the way, uh, if you guys didn't know. And you can go ahead and move around here. So you can see we can go ahead and click right here, and you can see it is a mini superstar. And it, it kind of reads you a story and stuff, and sometimes you have to make choices on what you want to do or upgrade and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Stumble upon a series of futuristic pods. Intrigued, they open one of the pods and are surprised to find a mini Roy makes Shaggy jump out of the pod and is eager to join the team. Which player are you going to sacrifice for this clone? So, essentially, I have to take one of these players out. I will take out um, him. And then we will progress right into here. And then it asks you here, do you want to train, which plus eight checking to all players, or rest plus the overall. So it's your choice on what you want to do as you progress through the map here. I'm going to do a rest and progress through there. Um, and this is the second area, by the way. I did beat the first area already. Uh, this is the second area that you go into. And then we progress into the match here, as you can see. We have a match coming up here. It's always a little bit different what you're actually doing. Sometimes it's one period, two periods, full periods, whatever it may be. Score first. This one here happens to be two periods, and you get a talent as a reward. Now, what I really like about this game is obviously the gameplay itself. It really feels like that 90s classic gameplay from hockey. Um, you get a little bit of story of the co teams kind of talking together and, and talking a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, smack talking to each other. Going through. I would never let a golfer assist me. I've mastered the deadliest slap shot to defend this island. If you would be so kind and let me charge it. Knights in guard. And the graphics also have a really good style to them in my opinion. As you guys are looking at here. The controls are really solid. Um... And it's just a really, really fun hockey game. I'm obviously in red here. Holds for a slap shot. Goalies are actually pretty good too. It's not like you score on every single play. I am playing behind a camera, so if you guys see me suck, I'm sorry. Oh my god, did you see their slap shot? That's what they were talking about there with their slap shot. So each part of the, you know, as you go through the story and stuff like that, 
you know, different things happen that kind of change up the gameplay like I was talking about, which is really cool for a roguelike like this in hockey form. Uh, but that's obviously one of them right there. In this game, apparently I'm dealing with someone that if you let them power up your slap shot, that's going to happen. Check him off of that before he ends up getting that off. Oh, no, no. You don't want to let them get that slap shot off. On a breakaway. Oh. Smacked. Thank God he missed. Because I'm doing a terrible job of making sure they don't get that off. Ooh. Give it to him. Oh. Nice check. See that knight that they have is freaking huge too. Like look how tall that guy is. Go, go, go. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get a goal here for you guys. Oh boy, I just let him go. Got him off just in time. Damn it, I messed that up. And they scored. Not good, not good. Right before the period ended, too. So, like I said, this game is two periods. But yeah, this game is so much fun. Like I said, the gameplay is really solid, but what I really like too is that it's a roguelike, so it's always like you're, you're you know, fixing up your team, you're making them better as you progress through, uh, adding different attributes and talents like you saw there that you get a talent if you win this game, uh, which is fun. And, uh... Nice. Oh, come on, man, get up! Just went through everyone. Oh my god, I thought I had an opening. Damn it. I dressed when I was about to pass. I saw that guy open. Yeah, you're not getting that slap shot off. Oh my god, I hit the post. Damn it. Oh my god, I went right by that. Love the night sound that that guy makes when he has it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me with these goalies right now. Really? You passed it like that? Lucky I didn't get scored on there. There we go. Let's go. Angus McShaggy on the board. Nice little replay. Saw him coming down. I was like, oh, let me give him a little pass. There we go. Tie this baby up. This game also does have local multiplayer as well, where you can actually play with your friends as well, four players, which is also fantastic, especially if you get it. Oh! Especially playing with, uh, you know, your friends and stuff. So there's local multiplayer that you could just play with your team and stuff, which is fun. Because like I said, the game, the, the game play is really good. It would crazy if I would have gotten that buzzer beater. All right, overtime it is. Here we go.
Ooh. Oh my god, he almost put it in himself. Oh, let's go! That weird goal! <laughs> oh, that's not what I expected. That's hilarious. We gotta see that replay though. Goalie almost scores on himself after making a save because he passes it out. And then I intercept it and the guy checks me and the puck goes in there anyway. That's hilarious. Uh, never know what to expect with this game, but that was fantastic. Uh, great way to win it. So yeah, after the games, you obviously if you win, you get what it says. It says we're going to unlock a talent here, so we'll see what that is here in a second. So it says choose a talent. You see that we have Slugger, expert at battling the puck out of the air, repels the puck, plus five shot accuracy permanently after winning a game. So I'm going to go ahead with expert at batting the puck out of midair. That seems like a good one. And then you can apply it to any one of these guys that you want to have here. So I'm going to apply this to, let's apply this to him right here. And then, yeah, then you go back here and you obviously progress through and then you're, you're, you know, you're going through doing the rest of these things here. Um... As you wander through the forest looking for food, you discover breadcrumbs surprisingly becomes edible. Who should consume it? Angus, one of your bench warmers, his decision is in your hand. Gain a random artifact. Angus gets minus two overall. Mark Bench will get the... Yeah, let's give Mark Bench the random talent. I don't want to take negative ten overall to everyone. And then, yeah, then you go to the next game here, as you can see. And it's two periods. Reward an artifact that time uh, versus the princess. So... Really, really cool stuff. I really, really do like this game. Like I said, it is a really good hockey game in my opinion. Uh, obviously, not a lot of things like it, being that it's a roguelike where you're actually upgrading your characters and going through the story. But you also just have the play now feature where you can play with up to four players and just literally go ham there and play, which is really, really fun. You can lock your position to a certain position if you want. If you want to be uh, you know, center, left wing, right wing, whatever, or if you want to just play everybody. Really, really cool stuff. EA, make a hockey game for PC and stop leaving us out of it. But for now... A game like this, especially on the Steam Deck, is fantastic to play. Really, really having fun with this one. Uh, guys, check out Tape to Tape on the Steam Deck. As always, guys, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.